Well, the best version of Sandy Alcantara has been on display for the last month and change. This will be his 30th start of the year, number 75 of his career. Well, he had 14 his last time, and that's his first tonight. Ground ball gets up on Jazz, but he sticks with it, makes the play. A 1-2-3 first inning for Sandy. Yeah, one ball and two strikes on Keyboom, who hits one in the air out to pretty deep right field, but the ballpark will hold it. Sanchez makes the play. Six up and six down for Sandy. The two-seamer is really in on righties more than anything, trying to keep them honest. And he's got himself his second strikeout. Another one, two, three inning for Sandy, who has looked fantastic again tonight. Three balls and two strikes. And two outs, and nobody on here in the fourth inning. Sandy at 45 pitches. And here it comes. A ground ball to first for Lewin Diaz. So they will keep a close eye on Sandy, who brings home a 3 2 pitch. And he got Bell to chase, 99. Third strikeout for Alcantara. Hell, he tried on back to back pitches. Got a check swing from Bell just the prior pitch at 99. Almost the exact same spot went up there again and felt like Bell would go after it. He did. A ground ball. Isan's got it. Sets his feet and gets the out. Five perfect innings so far for Sandy. Hot shot, one hop. Chisholm drops it. And I would think they're going to give him an error. It would not be the clean hit. Scores are often looking for for the first knock. He went to get it, he slipped. That's actually not a bad throw from your stomach, by the way. They have to give it an error with the no hitter going. I agree. First one's got to be clean. They could change it to a hit later because he hit it so hard. But yeah, there, there goes the perfect game. Chisholm's 23rd error of the year. Three on the right side of the infield. Isan, the third baseman, swung around playing more of a traditional double play depth second area. That one tipped and caught by Jackson. So another strikeout. That is four. It's just the wear and tear of a long season for a starting pitcher. You're talking 180 innings. And he gets the strikeout of Thomas. So he is through six innings. Nationals have had a base runner. That's been it. Dominated just like nothing happened. This one is. Softly popped shallow right for Sanchez to make the play. On base at a 568 clip last 16 games. And he has yet to reach base tonight as Sandy retires him, and there are two outs in the seventh inning. Well, I think this little sequence here, you, you're going to, you know, obviously take, you know, full respect to Soto and Bell. They're the two best hitters in this lineup, but you're right. I mean, Juan Soto, and he's the one who hit the liner. And Josh Bell over his head off the wall. Six and two thirds no hit innings for Sandy Alcantara. But he will not join the history books tonight. But splendid nonetheless. Well this is a breaking ball. And again, I think this is probably respecting Bell as much as anything because we haven't seen too many breaking balls that have looked like that tonight. Another payoff pitch, and he got him to chase. Strikeout number six for Sandy. He's through seven. He's given up a hit, but he is still dominating the Nationals. Marlins have a one to nothing lead as we head to the eighth. And there's a strikeout of Keyboom. His seventh, and there's one down in the eighth. And he goes after the first one. Sends it high in the air out towards center, but De La Cruz is there, and on six pitches, Sandy gets through the eighth inning.